Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I'm Ashik Salim from Informatica GCS and in this video series, we'll see how to read IDOCs from SAP in Cloud Data Integration. The part one of this video series shows what is an IDOC, IDOC Connector Administration, IDOC Reader Connection and SAP IDOC Maplet. So we know IDOCs electronically exchange data between SAP applications or between SAP application and external program. It is a message-based integration interface which uses uh, RFC protocol to transfer the data. And the message-based architecture of the ALD compromises mainly of three layers, that is application layer, distribution layer, and the communication layer. And going to the structure of the IDO, it contains three record types, that is control record, which has the administrative data, such as the metadata, the, the details of the sender and the receiver and all those information. Another one is the data record which contains the actual data that is being transferred and the status record which captures the status of the messages. So we know an IDOC connector is needed to read data from SAP in the IDOC formats. So these are the prerequisites for co configuring that particular connector. The first will be to download and install the Microsoft Visual C++ that in most of the security machine that will be done if that is a Microsoft Secure Agent, that is. The second one is to configure the SAP libraries, which involves configuring SAP RFC SDK libraries and JCO libraries, and also maintaining a Java Lips property at the Secure Agent level. Next is SAP connect, defining the SAP connector as an external logical system in SAP. So this step and the last step that is configuring SAP user authorization needs to be completely done in the SAP system that we are connecting to. And Defining the SAP connector as an external logical system, that step itself include create, creating a logical system in SAP system, creating an RFC corresponding to it, and creating the partner profiles and port corresponding to these RFCs. And from that, those details, we have to configure it, the INA file. In the INA file, this connection will be using a type R connection. So it will be having a dust entry, which, which is a unique name. And the program ID, the program ID which we have given in the RFC, then the gateway host and the gateway server details. We can get all those information from the SAP team and configure it in the INI file. Then moving on to the IDOC reader connection. This is a sample of the IDOC reader connection we are going to create in the live demo. So I will go through more details on the live demo. Then the IDOC applet. So we know that data is sent from SAP in the IDOC format and it needs to be interpreted so that the target system understand which values corresponds to which fields. So for that purpose, we use an IDOC maplet. And the IDOC maplet can be imported in the IDMC platform in two methods. One is using the table reader connection and another one is using a local file. The table reader connection is one of the uh, any connection to any table reader connection to the same SAP system we are we are connected to, and using that we can import the metadata so that it it has it has the whole information needed for the IDOC translation. And next is using a local file. In this pr process, we will be creating the local file from SAP system and importing it to get the metadata. So these are the IDOC maplet properties. In the transformation type, you can see there are two types actually IDOC prepare and IDOC interpreter. We will use the same maplet, same maplet as in, as in the sense it, the IDOC maplet itself for sending a data and receiving our data from SAP. So IDOC prepare will transform our source data to a format that SAP system understands. So it is actually, actually used for writing to SAP. And in this video, we'll focus more on the IDOC interpreter, which translates the IDOC to a format that target system understand. And next is the source. That is the source we'll be using to generate this particular IDOC maplet. And the transform next is the transformation tool scope. It indicates how the secure agent applies the transformation logic to incoming data. First one is a transaction. Another option is all input. So if the main advantage, one of the main advantages of IDOC reader is that it can write the, capture the data in real time and transfer it. So any changes to any of the master records, it will capture as an IDOC and send it in the real time. And if you want the trans this data to be transferred in the 
real time and capture in the target the real time we have to go with transaction if we need uh, we need all the data to come at the maplet level and then the logic to be applied then we can go for all input next is a message type this is a type the, the type of application message that classifies the categories of data usually for matmas or orders from sap so within the message type there will be a type of data structure that we can define in the basic idoc type and in the extended type we can give any custom extension or custom configuration we have done for this particular message type then comes the idoc document which displays the idoc segments associated with the message type and idoc type and extended type if we have mentioned it then the segment name that is the segment names of all the idocs description of the segments the minimum and maximum occurrence of this particular segments then we have an option to select like we don't know we know we not select all the segments that are by default available in the message type and idoc type we can select whichever ones we, we find necessary and we can configure it such next is the control record and we also have an option to configure the fields in control record if needed now we will move on to the live demo so this is my administrator screen i'm going to create a new connection all the prerequisite configuration for my secure agent machine is already completed so i'm just going to create a connection here i'll nidoc test in the type i have to select sap runtime and maven whichever secure agent i'm going to use now make sure this particular connector is enabled for it and idoc reader is a sap connection type and in the destination entry i have to give the destination entry which i have maintained the ini file so corresponding to that i have already created an rfc in sap system also and this is the code page so this code page is referring to the code page our sap system is using so this connection for this particular connection is not valid because this connection is only made at the real time so this connection is not supported for this connection you can save it just for reference uh, let me show you the rfc system that i have created it will be under tcp ip connections you can see the rfc i have created the program id so this program id also needs to be mentioned at the ini file also the gateway host and server of this sap system i have already created all the other prerequisites in the sap system that is creating the partner profile port and the logical system related to this rfc system then moving on to how to create an idoc maplet so we can go for new in the data integration in the maplet section we have sap idoc so i'm going just going to click for create and we have to give a name for it and the location and description is optional and in the transformation type we can see two types that is idoc prepare and idoc interpreter so idoc prepare is to write when we are writing a maplet to be created so that we can write to a cp system so we are focusing on reading from sap so we have to go for idoc reader transformation scope is all input or transaction so if we are going to read the data in real time then we can give transaction and source there we have two options connection or real local file so as mentioned we have an option to create it from the table reader or from a local file so first let me show you how to create it using a table reader connection so i already have a table reader connection configured to read from the particular cp system so i'm just going to use that and i'm just in this for this example i'm going to use the message type madmas and the basic idoc type madmas i i don't have an extended type for it but if you have an extended type and if you are going to read that at the extended type make sure to mention that before you fetch the idoc so now i'm going to give fetch idoc so the i can see all the idoc segments are fetched and i have an option to select and deselect all each of these sub segments so depending on which what i need i can select this 
segments and the maximum occurrence also you can see minimum occurrence you can see and this since this is an IDO uh, interpreter you the controller code won't be visible for us and the segment definition will be visible once we save this IDO pipeline so I'm just going to save it So you can see on save uh, this segment definition we can see in detail here so for all the segments we can see all this information and now we have imported using the cp table data connection and let me create another idoc maplet where i will be using a source file that is shared from sap to create this one so you go ahead and create before that let me show you how to create that particular flat file in the SAP system. We'll go to the T-code SC30A to run the program and that is a standard program RSC IDO3. Which we can use to achieve this. So I'm just going to run the program. Here I can give the basic type. And select on the control record then just give the parser so this information I can see here then I'm just going to save this file it's a local file and in the local file I will go for the unconverted format and it has to have an IDC format it's IDC format I'm going to give underscore test and I'm just going to generate it in the this particular directory right so that particular flat file is generated let me create a new maplet again SAP IDOC maplet I will give a maplet name for this one also this one IDOC interpreter as earlier given transformation scope whichever we want then source will be connection source connection will be a local file so i'm going to choose that file mathmas test.idc then since we are not giving any connection we have to select the secure agent machine we which we want to run this so i'm just selecting my fetch secure agent machine and going to give fetch idle This fetches the IDOC segments as earlier. So it's same thing. We can see the segment definition also. All the details are visible. So once we save it, we can use this IDOC maplet in the any mapping. So that concludes the demo in this part one. Uh, these are the documentation which will give us more information regarding the IDO connector administration as well as using this particular creating and using this IDO maplet. In the part two of this video series, we'll, we'll see how to use this particular maplet which we have created in this video to read from SAP. We would love to hear your feedback on this video as well as the other videos. Please reach us on the support videos at informatica.com or through our Twitter handle. That is all in this video. Thank you all for listening.